Good day, good day. Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to Plan April Day 8. And today I'm doing something a little bit different and I think uh, I would normally say that this was kind of a lazy move, but given the circumstances, I think a lot of people are doing plein air paintings inside by just looking out their window. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. And if you hear noises behind me, that is, as always, my dogs Watson and Hazel doing their thing, being part of this whole art thing. I guess they're making their own art by fighting with each other and making funny noises behind me. So I may have to add some music to this video just to kind of quiet that down a little bit. So anyway, I'm sitting, this is actually my bed, and I was just being, honestly, even though with everything that's going on, we're supposed to be staying indoors and staying away from people, I just really was being lazy today. But also, I got inspired, I looked out my window, and my window, by the way, is covered in dog slobber because my dogs, just stare out the window and when they see anything walking by they bark and slobber all over my window and I just really need to clean all my windows but anyway I looked out my window and I saw a cute little robin sitting in my yard and I thought that that would actually make kind of a nice simple but bright colorful little painting so simple colorful bright and kind of springy I think so I'm going to start with just kind of a little bit of an undertone and one of the challenges that I knew that I would have with this composition was that the entire background was just going to be the grass in my yard so there's not going to be a lot of depth and I thought it might help me to create a little bit of depth just by using some cooler tones in the more distant grasses and then warmer tones in the foreground and just letting that peek through really subtly. I always really kind of struggle with this kind of thing just because I tend to, I think, overcomplicate it. And I feel like I need to have all this texture in there and I'm trying to organize all these little patches of grass that are a little bit browner or areas where the sun is illuminating the grass just a little bit more. So I think that I could have left this even simpler and not overthought it quite so much and I end up just probably spending most of my time trying to get the grass correct so actually you know what let me just kind of speed this up because I'm just kind of fiddling around here all right so we'll just kind of get through this I feel like maybe it was a little bit painful it was painful to paint it so it's probably gonna be a little painful to watch it basically I'm just experimenting though adding in some warmer tones adding in some yellows Still, you know, I'm fairly new to gouache still, so I'm always kind of testing what it can do. I like that it's opaque in some situations, but then in other situations, I wish that it was a little bit more transparent so that when I layer it on top of other colors, I get a little bit more of a layered effect the way that I like to do with watercolor, especially that glazing technique where you paint wet over dry. I really like that about watercolor. It helps to give you a lot of nuance. All right, so slowed this down just a little bit now. Painting in a very, very simple little robin. Of course, the robin was only in my yard for a couple of seconds, and so I just took my time to kind of observe it, to observe its markings. And ultimately, I'm going to layer in some grass on top of it, so it doesn't need to be super detailed it doesn't need to be super accurate and it's of course very small as well but I just thought it was a nice first of all contrast to all the green to have the red breast of this little robin and then I'm going to try to capture some of the different markings on the bird not just the red breast area but also some of the feathers that I noticed were a little bit more gray so that it's not just a solid black bird on top and I had to just keep reminding myself that it was okay for it not to be exact, not to have a lot of detail, and really to be a very loose impression because, you know, I've talked about this with plein air painting. 
I think one of the biggest challenges that we all have until we've just become really comfortable with it is observing things that are going to move, things that are fleeting. So whether it's an animal or it's people walking by, if you want to be able to include those types of things in your plein air paintings, you're gonna have to get comfortable with the idea of working a little bit from your memory and a little bit from your imagination. And that's definitely something I have struggled with my whole life because I, I really like to be very precise and to kind of analyze things and be very careful and meticulous. And of course there is a time for that, but there's also a time to work very loose and to let things be fleeting, to let things be a little bit imperfect and quickly done. And I really like that about a lot of the plein air paintings that I see from others is they have that really fleeting essence to them or aspect where everything really kind of feels almost like it's actually moving because things are so loosely painted and I really admire that and hope to get better at doing that myself. Now I'm adding just a little bit of grass to layer over the bird so it doesn't look like it's just, you know, literally painted on top of a green background. Going in, doing some dry brush to add a little bit more color variation, especially into the background. Again, just to give a little bit of sense of depth to what really doesn't have much depth at all. And overall, I think it was really pretty successful and I was pretty happy with it. I definitely am pretty much finished at this point. I just, of course, as always, have to fiddle a little bit with it finding little areas to make adjustments. I wanted to add a little bit more texture to the foreground grass. And even though gouache, as I said, is really opaque, some of the dark tail feathers of the bird were really showing through some of the grasses that I tried to layer in front of the bird. Um, so I think I tried to go in and make those just a little bit more opaque. And then I am just going to darken some of the areas on the bird that I felt like were a little too gray added just a stroke of black to the very end of the tail feathers. And I think that that actually helped give a little bit better sense of cover for that grass that's overlapping the bird in a way. And then I tried to add a little bit of a shadow on the belly of the bird. It went a little too dark at first, but hey, it's gouache, it's very opaque. And so I was able to fix that very, very easily. All right, so that was it for today. Just a simple painting from inside my house, doing that social distancing thing. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.